everyone, it's your girl Shay here and I'm back with another video for you guys. And for this Motivational Monday video, I actually want to talk about journaling. And I think I did a blog post on this before, but I decided to make a video about it. Um, so many of you guys know I enjoy journaling. I enjoy putting my thoughts out on paper so I can see like what's going on in my life. I love using it just to write out my my dreams, my goals, to uh, you know, plot out stuff for YouTube now, and I like using it so that I have like an agenda of what I'm going to be doing throughout the day or when I'm going to come home. So I have actually like several different journals, and if I have to be honest, I have quite a lot. And this isn't even all of them. There's like three of them still sitting next to me that I can't actually pick up. And all these journals have, or they serve at least, a different purpose. So what I'm going to do is basically talk about what I use each journal for and my recommendation or like how they've kind of helped me. So my first journal I have here is just a regular college ruled, you know, composition notebook. And I actually just started using this one basically this morning or today because I wanted a journal that I could use to purely write down five things that I'm grateful for. So what I do is I wake up in the morning and I immediately jot down five things I'm thankful for. And then along with that, I write out like a little bit of a prayer. And I also from there kind of write down or imagine what I want my life to be like and I just started that because I, I don't know I felt like I just needed to have one purely dedicated to that um, the next one I have is just this plain black notebook here and I use this purely for like the studying of like my my Bible or like Bible verses so what I do is I basically take a page like this you probably can't see it but it's written in like purple and pink gel pen and what I do is I choose a topic and then I find bible verses on like Pinterest or anything like that and I jot them down and then I write a, another prayer so my first topic I have in here is comparison so I have like five verses that talk about comparison within the bible and then I write a prayer about how like I want help with that and it's like just kind of like a general prayer more so so it's something I can always just look at read and then just just continue forward with my day the next one I have is this one here is a little bit like of a more prettier one compared to the other two and this one on the front says 50% goals 50% dreams and this is the notebook that I actually started using once again and I mostly use this for like jotting down like my goals so I have like my 2019 goals here and I basically make sure I read my goals and go through that list like every night before I go to sleep so that's on my brain and I also read it when in the morning when I get up just so that I can think about that and think about what I'm really like working towards and it's it just puts a lot of things into perspective for me I might also use it to write down like my monthly goals as well and I also plan to keep adding to it throughout the year as I think of more goals that I want to accomplish Next one I have is this one. So this journal actually says on the front, great ideas, master schemes, evil plans, and other random shit. And this notebook I use for YouTube. So I started using this notebook not too long ago, and I actually write down, like, if I'm watching an episode, I'm actually jotting down little notes, like what the episode is about. I'm also writing down what I liked, what I didn't like. And then I also just write down kind of like my script of what I want to talk about or what I want to say within videos so I don't use this for all my videos like motivational Mondays not always using it because I sometimes just talk right off of whatever comes off the top of my head or however and I mostly use this stuff for like YouTube like episode reviews because I find it easier to jot down like what I remember from an episode of a show or what I remember from a manga I'm reading so that I basically don't forget anything next I have this one so this journal says I'm so freaking freaked out a journal in which I can fiercely scribble the heavily detailed multi-layered evidence uh, for how freaking freaked out I freaking am because it's all pulsing through my brain like the television news treatment of a minor natural disaster with myself as a self-appointed expert tasked with obsessively reporting irresponsible conjecture and repeating images of destruction as I cannibalize my own thought process and descend into an unrecoverable tailspin of idiotic mental babble and so I've taken several deep breaths called a few friends and written it all down at which point I just might feel a little better until the next freaking time I freaking freak out again so this journal basically from what I wrote the title is whenever I freak 
out. So it's whenever I just have had like a bad day or there's something heavily on my mind and I will just write it, just jot down everything that's going on. Half the time it doesn't make sense. Half the time words are spelled wrong. Usually there's like barely any punctuation and it's just me droning on and on and on. But it helps me just to get everything out on paper and out of my head. And once again, like me and the other ones, it really puts a lot of things into perspective for me. It really just helps me to see like where I went wrong or what I can change. So I'm super grateful for this notebook right here. Last but not least, I'm gonna say these two together because they go together. So these are the My Infinite Agendas. So I bought these at the beginning of the year and what I usually use this for, oh, this is upside down. <laughs> there you go, right side up. <laughs> and what I usually use these ones for is, basically it goes month by month. So I write down everything from like vacations to like what like I wanna do throughout the day. So this is kinda like January right here. So basically that's how I use this journal. So what I usually do is like in the mornings when I get up and I'm done getting ready and stuff like that, I usually write down a quote of the day and then I also write down the things I want to complete throughout my day. So I write things like, I'm going to exercise for 10 minutes. I'm going to wash clothes today. I'm going to clean my room, which I plan to do today. And then I also write down, like, it had a section that says, today I am looking forward to, and then I write down three things I'm looking forward to. And usually they're super simple. So it's like, sometimes it's like, I'm looking forward to eating my lunch today if I ordered some really bomb food or if I'm like I'm looking forward to having my coffee or I'm looking forward to you know relaxing when I get home that's usually like the stuff that I'll kind of write and then later on when I come home or like later on that night it has another section that says today I am super grateful for and then I'll write down three things that I'm grateful for and it also has like where you can write down like your goals for the year you can write down your monthly goals you can write down also like a vision board so it's super super helpful and i really have enjoyed having this agenda this is like the big version right here and this is the smaller one i take the smaller one with me when i go like on vacation or sleep over at someone's house so i always have a journal with me and so i can kind of keep up with it the bigger one goes for an entire year the smaller one goes for six months so definitely you know remember that so i as you can see i have a lot of journals and i know you guys are like why do you have so many like could you just have one i could just have one but the thing is i don't and the main reason why like i said before is because i just like having different journals for different things so it doesn't all get muddled up into one and i've noticed that half of these journals that i've had I actually found and they're journals that I actually started writing in and then stopped for some reason so it's kind of cool for me to go back and actually see what I had written before and see what's changed or what hasn't changed but yeah I hope that you guys enjoy this video I hope you guys start journaling yourself I definitely feel like it has helped me in a lot of ways it's helped me to get all my thoughts or negative thoughts that I have out and onto a piece of paper and a lot of times that just like I mentioned so many times it's put a lot of into perspective for me it's helped to calm me down it's helped with whenever I'm anxious it's helped whenever I'm depressed and a lot of times when I look back on like the things I've written I recognize and see what space I was in before and it's kind of cool to see like how much I've grown so go out and buy a journal it doesn't have to be an expensive one you can go to Target and buy one or your local like grocery store and buy a notebook. It could be just any kind of notebook. But I definitely, definitely, you know, recommend that if you're someone who just wants to get everything out to try journaling because it's been super helpful for me. But that's my video for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys on Wednesday with another video. Of course, like always, you guys can comment down below if you guys have any topics you'd like me to discuss on either on Motivational Mondays also or for just like any anime related topics as well. So yeah, I will see you guys soon. Like always, I'll leave in the description box down below links to all my social media accounts, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my blog as well. And remember, I come out with new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So click the bell icon so that you know if I when I come out with these new videos. And of course, subscribe to me if you haven't already because uh, I try and produce some good stuff for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it. But uh, I'll see you guys soon. And like I always say, stay positive and be nerdy. All right, you guys.